Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. The Minister of Education, Adamo Adamu, is currently meeting with board councillors, chairman of council, and vice councillors of universities, among others. The move is part of efforts of the federal government to resolve the industrial action by members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. According to Adamu, the government and ASU have no option but to continue talks until universities reopen their doors to Nigerian students who he, who, whom he said were principal victims of the prolonged industrial action. Spokesperson for the All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council for the 2023 elections, Festus Keyamo, has said that he didn't sue then Lagos State Governor Bola Tinubu over alleged certificate forgery. The Minister of State, Labor and Employment said this while reacting to a statement by the spokesperson for the Atiku Abubakar campaign organization, Daniel Bwala, who insisted that Keyamo sued Tinubu during his first term as Lagos Governor. Speaking in a televised interview, Kayamo maintained that the battles he waged were not born out of bitterness and hate, but to unravel the truth and the real constitutional powers of the House. A federal high court sitting in Lagos State has granted bail to the Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Olakunle Oluomo, in the sum of 300 million naira, with two shorties in like sum. The Speaker was arraigned over alleged 2.5 billion naira money laundering charges. In granting bail to the Speaker, Justice Osiago held that one of his shorties must not be less than a level 16 officer in the civil service, while the other must possess landed property within the court's jurisdiction. A Hong Kong doctor has been arrested on suspicion of issuing more than 7,000 coronavirus vaccination exemption certificates without proper diagnosis of patients. According to local media, police raided Dr. Annie Choi Suk Mew's private clinic on Castle Peak Road in Yuen Long at 3 p.m. on Monday after complaints that the 64-year-old general practitioner had abused the government's vaccine exemption procedures. Choi had been released on bail pending further investigation. Nigeria's network communications and data hosting infrastructure platform for public and private sector organizations, Galaxy Backbone, has disclosed that plans are underway to unveil the Tier 4 data center, data center for cloud and disaster recovery purposes soon. Speaking at an expo and exhibition in Lagos, the managing director and CEO Galaxy Backbone, Mohamed Abubakar, said the amount of data generated across public and private organizations and individuals alike have created new opportunities and experiences which require proper documentation and exploration. On the global scene, the Russian Ministry of Defense is in the process of purchasing millions of rockets and artillery shells from North Korea for its ongoing fight in Ukraine, according to a newly downgraded U.S. intelligence finding. The finding comes after the Biden administration recently confirmed that the Russian military in August took delivery of Iranian-manufactured drones for use on the battlefield in Ukraine. Meanwhile, North Korea has hinted interest in sending construction workers to help rebuild Russian-occupied territories in the country's east. European champions Real Madrid will on Tuesday get their quest for a 15th UEFA Champions League title when they face Celtic in what is one of the top fixtures in the opening round of the 2022-23 UEFA Champions League season. Celtic are coming into the fixture with a green form having won seven of their matches in the new season of the Scottish Premiership while Real Madrid currently sit top of the La Liga standings with five wins out of five games played. That's it on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I'm Simisola Adjikun.